Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about numbers. Numbers. In everything you need to know the numbers. We have to start counting. We need to know the frequency of values. If you are talking about crime, what is your weight? If you are talking about the level of poverty, how much it is, how we can explain, how much the poverty can explain the level of crime. You need to be a little bit specific about it because those trends can change perception, can uh, make you have an attitude, it can make you make big decisions. When you see something happen, an event, a phenomenon like crime, each society has something to say about that. And each society, each society defines crime differently. Stealing is bad everywhere. But the consequences might be different. If you have a country where is the level of poverty is high, maybe the stealing, if it's, it is not too much, we can try to understand that. It is why we need to have that conversation about relationship between variables, about assumptions, about hypothesis, about um, how strong, how weak it is the relationship between variables about motivation for crime. We can have many cause for the crime. Cause and effect. We can have that assumption that the level of poverty cause crimes. It sounds right. The level of poverty can cause burglary crime. It sounds right. We can keep that assumption. But there is no absolute truth about that assumption. When you make an assumption, we have a person of where we can have a person of mistakes but you are confident about it but you are really confident about it until you are able to make an experiment like control variables all the variables related to crime we got many things Many things can be related to crimes. You have a society where there, where there is, where there are many differences, many differences. You got some similarities, 
many different groups for different reasons. You got religion belief. You got different values. Political view. Many things people can disagree on. Disagreement. How much people can disagree about everything? Did you vote on that? Did you let everyone talk about that? You need a tool. That is a tool you can use. The simple, the random simple. The random simple where everyone has the same equal independent chance to appear. Everyone is randomly chosen. It is a tool. It is a tool and that can help us practice fairness. It is not always our justice system has fairness, but that tool can help us. You have like that sample representing the population. And you have different groups, different way of thinking, different ways of thinking, different values, different political views. And you need to make an experiment to find out about the relationship between crime and poverty so you can make decisions about it. Why people are so poor? Maybe they don't go to school. Maybe the agriculture sector needs to be refreshed and people need more jobs. Maybe the economic system need, needs some push. Many reasons. And I'm talking about that tool called random symbol that experiment, experimenters use, scientists use, to find out if the assumptions are true, to find out if they confidently can keep the assumptions and go with them. But don't forget, there is no absolute truth. You can find out that really the level of poverty leads to crime. But that doesn't mean poor people are the ones who can make crimes. It is only an assumption. And the simple you need is it a representative sample? Your sample, you need to find out that. That sample, is it representative? It's every group, like rich, poor, like all the characteristics you can have, age, youth, and um, everything religion, everything is represented there. 
and then you can use that simple to make experiments imagine you have a population of 10 million you have a sample of 100 people how fair is that sample and then you can even use that tool for everything like you want to invest in industry economy in music production and then um, you want to make it fair and then you use that symbol and then you make it like possible for every group to participate on that economy you are building every sector should have that tool to respect the proportion of group in that that representing in that random sample so with that sample we can find out relationship of variables to make prediction to find out how people are behave behaving regarding the laws in effect maybe the laws have to be changed think about it if the level of poverty is so high here yeah. maybe you have to give a push an incentive to business so they can so people can make business and they can really participate in the economy something has to be done so all those assumptions need to have a good sample before you go to a generalization generalizability so to make inference you need that good tool properly made in that example you have let's talk now about the motivation for crime like hate crimes people hate people for values like for religion for race for disability so how strong it is how deep it is so you count you find frequency of each value and you make a bar chart like that okay let's say the religion is the most motivated cause that people had to to like uh, make events hateful events they become aggressive about it or in the other society could be something else so you can have a shot saying that but there are values you can even own them you can maybe make a survey let people talk about it so to find out why they like that why they don't like that or just don't have any reason but they hate but what you can count really really is the level economic level you can find out how much money they have how much they make it could be ten dollar a day they make here ten million people ten dollar a day 
you can find out really the level, economic level. You can find out the number of students that go to school. And you can use that tool to make it fair for everyone. But don't forget, if you have a lack that valuable education here, not everyone go to school, that could be a cause for related to, to that crime, to the level of crime, because if the poor cannot go to school, can not have a job, cannot have any hope, you have to think about that. If at least there is a small example where they can be represented, they can get hope. It's really important to know those numbers so you can have a society like you have a society like that with different layers blue blue green purple red they are layers they might be have pressure on each other but people can relate. You see the yellow part that keep them together. They have something to relate. They have the same culture. They have the same language. They have. Uh, they can get some education. At some point, everyone get the same education. Everyone gets the same education. You can understand that when we talk about disease, we are healed together. If one of them gets a virus, it can spread to every one of them. So that means people are together here. So the same thing, if they get the education, they can share education can spread between them make them together making them together so we have variation of variables they vary a lot and you need to know for each variable how strong it is how weak it is And you need to know also how to disperse how the numbers. Let's say a teacher wants to have uh, the average of the class. The teacher puts together all the scores 0, 8, 9, 3, 1, 3. 24 divided by six students in the class you have a, an average of four that's really low what happens it is because we have four scores three one three zero are too low looks like they are extremely low so that they influence the the, the result for you have only two good grades, two good scores, eight and nine. It is not enough because four, four people have really bad grades. The teacher wants to know about how disperse are the grades. So next time we can work together to have a better average better average 
That means, if you know how this spells, is the economy there? Who has the money? If each group representing in the simple can get something, you can decrease the friction. You can make them together not be there like the, the like a stratification they are six tap pose it together but they are not together they have to feel like they can relate together they have something in common they have more similarities than differences so we can not like be satisfied to say like you see the mode the top one, the one who can make it, the mode. No. You got to go like the teacher, go inside to see how dispersed it is so you can make correction. Ten dollars a day, ten million people. Someone has to get more if someone has too low. Someone has too low, too low in the developed economy. So crime. We can have different causes. So people might hate another people for differences in political view differences in privilege you can go to school I cannot go to school many things can lead to crime obviously the relationship can be weaker than the level of poverty but if you keep adding adding variable, the more variance you have, the stronger can be the relationship. You got to keep track of numbers. So you can make uh, um, like uh, you can make prediction. You can adopt your attitude. So you can, it's better to to practice prevention, awareness, then, then like keeping things, keeping things the way it is, and then you have a safety issue coming. Safety issue has relationship with many things, many, many things is not only about poverty. We can make many assumptions. They are true until you do the experiment. And you can be confident about it. At what percentage? At what percent you have to know? And there is always a person of error, of mistake. You have to be aware of what person you can say, this is true with 10% of error. So you got to have a good sample. Making that sample where the same equal independent element the independent element has the same equal independent chance to appear in that random symbol so numbers are important we have to go by numbers
got to think about numbers. We can make a difference with numbers. Start counting. Find out about frequencies of events. Frequency of crimes. What caused the crime? Making prediction. Helping people.